In this video, you will learn about Trios Design Studio Crown Workflow. The Trios Design Studio solution is a complete digital workflow with fully integrated CAD CAM modules. This solution is dedicated to dental practices that would like to produce restorations like crowns, inlay onlays, veneers, and bridges in house. Start with creating a new patient. To do that, click on Patient. In the pop out window, fill in the patient details. Only last name is compulsory. When done, click OK. Then create the case. Click on Case. Choose In-House as the place of production. You can set it as default in situations when you have many labs on your list. When done, click OK. Fill in the rest of the order details if necessary. Select Digital Impression as Case Type. It is also possible to add photos and comments. When ready, click Next to select the tooth, type of restoration, and type of material. To create an order for a crown, all you need to do is select Anatomy. Then select Crown as an indication. In the Material tab, select the material on which you intend to work. In our example, we choose the HTE Max. Click Next. The scanning module will start. The lower jaw has been indicated as the first one, then upper jaw and the occlusion. Always remember to mark the tooth on which the restoration is planned. While working with the TRIO scanning module, you can use all the tools available for the TRIOS application. When all the necessary scans are ready, click Next to move to Crown Modeling. Once inside the Crown Modeling module, which is dedicated to design restoration, you will start with setting the margin line. You can do that automatically or manually. To use auto detection, first make sure that the button is marked, then click on the margin line. The software generates it automatically, but you can always adjust it if necessary. Also remember that you can adjust the margin from the outside and inside of the scan. To set the margin line manually, click on the Click and Go button, and then on the margin. Set the first point, and then the rest of them. The line will always try to stick to the margin for your convenience. Remember that any adjustment is possible even if you have finished. If you would like to remove and redo the margin placement, just click on the Clear button, whilst having the tooth indicated. When the margin line is set, click Next to move to the Insertion Direction step. The software will automatically set it and indicate it with the green vector. If you wish to adjust the insertion direction, you can rotate the scan to the desired position, then click the From View button to have it set. Check for changes in the undercut. It is important to avoid the creation of undercuts on the margin. If the new insertion direction creates more undercuts, click the Auto button to have it recalculated to optimal value. Once you have done that, click Next to move on to the Anatomy Design step. The software automatically generates the design for the restoration, but you also have the option to adjust it yourself using different tools. Firstly, you can select different available teeth designs from the Smile Library menu. Simply click on the one you prefer. Then use other available tools to create the design as it is supposed to be. Start with setting the tooth in the correct position, in relation to neighbours in the arch and antagonist. Our tool will help you with that. Use the control spheres to move the tooth or click on it and drag it. Use the Morph tool to apply changes to the surface. Click Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius of the tool. Click on the chosen point on the tooth and drag it to change its shape. You can also use a wax knife to add or remove material from the design, as well as to smooth it. 
Click Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius for a wax knife, or use the sliders instead. In the Contacts tool, you will find options like the adjacent as well as the occlusal, where you can set the distance value and enforce it. At the end, go to the Automatic Tools, click on Minimum Thickness to be sure that the design meets the material requirements and check how it may affect your design. When your design is ready, you can check the dynamic occlusion using the Virtual Dynamic Articulator. Just click on the Articulator button and then play to see the occlusal contacts during jaw movements. If it is necessary, you can adjust the design. When the design is ready, move to the next step, which is the CAM module, and start production. Now you have learned how to design a full anatomy crown. Thank you for watching.